Hi, I'm Lawrence, the founder of Great Speech Writing, where we've just spent another year writing speeches and presentations for the rich, the famous, the needy, the worthy, the busy, and the lazy. And we've put together 12 of the tips we give most regularly to our clients. I hope you find them useful in the year ahead. Merry Christmas. A great speech is a relevant speech. And relevance means that however much you've got to say, however many points you've got in there, think about them, the audience, and what they want to hear. If you start thinking about them, you can't get it wrong. Typically, you will have been asked to speak about a subject because you know an enormous amount about it. Problem. The morning after the event, your audience is going to very rarely remember more than one thing you've said. So get that thing into your structure from the start, like a headline of a newspaper, and build your entire speech around it. Try and plan your balance between humour and sincerity before you write the speech. Generally, too sincere too soon means the effect will be massively diluted. But try and be too funny throughout and you will probably fall flat on your face. So have a plan in place and then make it work. A great speech sounds seamless. It's not enough just to have a series of individual bullets at the end of which you um and ah and then change direction to get to the next one. They need to be linked so they flow and sound like you really, really believe and have thought through what you're saying. The most powerful tool you have available to yourself as a speaker is the pause. So don't forget to write those pauses into your script. There's nothing worse than a speech given in monotone. So we want to bring it to life. And the way to do that is by emphasising key words. And as writers, we can actually underline the words in a script that we then can deliver with more impact when we give the speech itself. Have a look at that. The reason that so many speakers talk too quickly is because they just have too many words to say in the allocated time. That clock is ticking, and if we try and speak faster than 120 words a minute, we haven't got a hope of people being able to follow us. So look at that word count when you're writing your speech. Speak too quickly and nobody will be able to understand, yet alone absorb what you're saying. Speak too slowly and you just sound inebriated. So it's really important to rehearse the pace to maximise the impact of that script you've got in front of you. Approximately 70% of the impact we make on our audience is visual rather than tonal. So if we just stand still like this, then however impressive our words, it's very, very hard to get people to listen. So more positive body language, moving the arms, developing something that's much, much warmer and more impactful really will help people listen to you through their eyes. Don't feel you have to learn your script off by heart. You may not have even noticed that I've now got something here that I'm just glancing at very occasionally to remind me what to say next, which is much better than standing looking like you've got no notes at all, but forgetting something absolutely crucial at an important moment of your speech. Last but not least, however much energy you speak with, however brilliant your content, if you don't create eye contact with your audience, there's absolutely no way they're going to listen to you when you don't appear to care about them. I really hope you found these tips useful and there'll be more to follow soon. Thank you.